Good morning, Deify here, and welcome back to Kitty Powers Matchmaker, our quest for all the achievements, 16 more kids, one more Steam friend. One of these days, we will get um, another step towards our whole goal. It is still blistering hot in my room. My face is so red right now. Got like a uh, fantastic bottle of uh, water in case I need it. Hopefully I don't, but I totally will. We have good news from Tristan Butterhead and unknown news from Cooper Greenwright. What do we, oh, I had to finish with Marilyn because she just wasn't really my type. There's some things I liked about her, mainly her interest in going on luxury cruises, but I just couldn't stand her bizarre compulsion for not using a play. That's, that's a strange one. Marilyn wasn't for me, but at least I was honest about it. I'm slightly sad about the whole thing, but I'll get over it. Oh, well. It is also, like, quiet hours now, or if it's not, it will be in 22 minutes. So I gotta keep the volume down. That's, like, really hard for me to do. But Tristan Butterhead? Okay, Cruz and I are still a couple, and we've moved in together. We do both so enjoy being a snob. I believe it's being snobs game. Try harder. <laughs> uh, and I love Cruz so much that I can easily tolerate his predilection for abstract art. I did tell one or two white lies, but the end justifies the means. We're so in love, and things just couldn't be rosier. Fantastic, you two. I'm super proud. What did you send me? I really love pres- Oh, a titanium wristwatch! My favorite! Okay, a nice two-star client to warm us up. Kurt Engelhorn, the two-star travel agent and an Aquarius looking for a man. He's interested in playing chess, vampire romance movies, and animal totems. So a little bit of geeky with some hippie. And he loves hazel eyes and blonde hair. He's a relaxed, methodical, introvert, experimental, and spicy. His bad habit is rushing all the time. And his guilty pleasure is some body glitter. Okay, geeky indeed. Let's see what we got. I seriously have way more gay men in my black book than I know what to do with. There are 33. But we're going to send him out with Arthur Harfax, who is a one-star teaching assistant and a Gemini. They line up horoscopically. Two ticks of attraction, which is really nice. They're both geeky, or at least partially geeky. He might be more glam with photobombing, but three out of three so far, and we don't know guilty pleasure or bad habit. But a five out of five is grounds for an immediate setup. So let's let's try it out. All right, delicious Japanese food. I'm feeling pretty confident. That's a good thing to feel when you're headed out on a date, I suppose. Arthur and Kurt, very good. New culinary standard, you know. Good appealing eyeballs. This is the best kind of eyeballs. Also ones that are not removed. Ugh. Science classes, though. Uh, what do you fancy? Cold fish dish. Okay, what do we get? Of course it's, it's not gonna be beef tataki. I should have known that, but uh, two lots of fugu sounds delicious. Man, I'm already tired. It, it, classes haven't even started and I'm like falling asleep. So good. Not so good. <laughs> when putting away your felt tip pens, do you organize them by shade or chuck them in the box? Oh no, we did not get a 5 out of 5. Definitely organize them by shade. Come on, dude. What are you doing? <sighs> well, maybe this guy was not meant to be. We have other options. There's always another fish in the sea usually, unless it's very, very polluted. When meeting up with your friends, would you rather play a game in the park or have coffee in a cafe? Okay, good. So four out of five. Four out of five is definitely second date worthy. Oh, an unexpected occurrence. Oh, flipping spider. Oh, scary. Let's not touch it and just let him have it. Spiders are my favorite of all the arthropods. And that's cool, dude. That's cool. Oh, give me those sweet, sweet 20 coins. I'm always going to take those. All right, now what are we doing? Oh, right, we still have one more thing to talk about. We can talk about literally anything. We could have just done horoscopes, actually. It would have been good, but when it comes to friends, do you prefer hanging out with one at a time or large social gatherings? And of course, hanging out with one at a time is optimal. Oh, man, we had a super fun game day today and last night. Last night, we played Betrayal at House on the Hill. Today, we played Super Fight. We played Super Fight for like four hours. It was so fun. Plus great like modifications of that game. It had a magnificent overtone of regal triumphalism. It was mind-bogglingly satisfying. It had an underbelly like a pastoral masterpiece. It had an, an unbelievably sublime aftertaste. It had an interwoven layered moistness. It was imaginatively and subtly well presented and it had a hint of magical otherworldliness. Yeah, I'm delighted to hear that too because I got it right. And you can't tell me that. Like my... Oh man, my 
eyes are hurting because of my contacts and I'm like falling asleep. It's like not a good thing to do, but uh, hey, do you uh, want to meet up again? And of course his enjoyment levels are at maximum. He's a one star. Who, like, he's not going to turn down a second date like ever. But good job, you two. I hope you uh, I wish the best for you, but we're going to try someone else first. So next up, just because I'm curious, is Blake Pigwater. He's a three-star video game artist, which means, you know, Kurt will actually uh, like his job, I'm pretty sure. And uh, he's a Capricorn. They don't line up there. They don't really have any attraction either, nor do they have similar interests. Um, but three out of three, it's always good. This one I'd be a little hesitant, even on a five out of five, because, you know, maybe I should actually take other traits into account when I try to set up good matches. But if we can get that five out of five, that would be a great first step. Uh, so I just checked Steam like earlier today, and I'm at 88 hours on Kitty Powers Matchmaker. That means probably like 15 episodes from now, I will hit the 100 hour mark for the game in total, which means 75 hours on this game. I can't believe that this is probably like my fourth most played game, like, ever. <laughs> it's crazy. Behind Skyrim, Minecraft, and The Sims, I believe, would be the main front runners. We want something cold with no meat. Oh, and Binding of Isaac, so maybe it's my fifth. Okay, cold with no meat. We can do that. Oh, of course, the uh, Vesta Boat and Pie. Two lots of that, please. Yeah, it's, of course, it's cold and no meat. It's exactly what he wants. And uh, let's see, what do we need? We need these same two that we know. Oh, right, they must have. Those last two must have been in the uh, the episode a couple ago where it seemed like we only talked about those. <laughs> when cleaning the house, do you clean thoroughly or just do the obvious bits? Oh, just the obvious bits. He's a three star, so we should lie to him. You know. We don't, we don't want to throw away our chances of seeing him again, and wow, this guy actually seems like he knows how to lie. Thank you, Kurt. That's really nice. Definitely just the obvious bits, of course, yeah. And so we'll see if um, activity levels line up. If they do, he is also a possible second datesman. There it is right there, so let's grab that. You watch an awesome movie about street dance, do you take a street dance lesson or buy it on the DVD? Oh good, four out of five. Him and uh, Arthur are like the same person, it seems. Okay, so what do we got? Um, when I was just a nipper, we'd go to holiday camps down the coast. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, yeah, we all loved it, even the cheesy entertainment. I mean, <laughs> I guess that worked out, but I was expecting to try a little bit harder on that. Cool. So what do we talk about? I guess spiciness would be fair when watching TV. Do you prefer to watch a nice period drama or a saucy soap opera? Of course it's a saucy soap opera, we knew that. We didn't even need to ask, but uh, we should totally pay the bill. What did- oh, it was Reggie. For some reason, like, I didn't look at him, but that just stuck in my head. So I was like, I don't remember what our waiter looks like, and then he showed up, and I'm like, oh, that guy's like triggering my short-term memory. Got this. Okay, yeah, they're really hot stuff, but uh, we're just gonna- you wanna meet up again? It was like really special, so good for these two. Uh, we're still maybe waiting for someone who's like super good, but I think now we'll try second dates And if one of them works out, we'll set them up Otherwise, we may have another episode where we only set up like <laughs> two people So even though he is uh, not the better choice I'm sending him out with Blake again first just because that saves me a couple coins on changing his hair color although granted if I sent him out with the other ones, we would get compliments on our hair color again, which is always nice. We have a short-haired, short black-haired lady. Um, uh, something hot with no meat, I think. We'll just see what has no meat. And so we have hot with no meat and cold with no meat. Of course we do. I'm going to go with Tong Mian. It just seems like better. Eh, he wanted cold with no meat. You know, honestly, that's not the end of the world. What would be the end of the world is bad habits or guilty pleasures not lining up. So you have any bad habits? You can't help ogling at strangers. Oh, I love it when you ogle at other people that aren't me. We can't help rushing all the time. Oh, that's just so... You're just so gross, nerd. Actually, he's not the nerd. Kurt's the nerd, but that's, that's fine. Maybe that's what he was saying. Oh, that's gross, nerd. You know, obviously. <laughs> Let's see, can I get bad habit? Or a guilty pleasure, which, I, good, I got it. Have you got any guilty pleasures? Love reading sports results. Uh, that's rad. Of course it is. Don't you dare ever deny that. Because you want a chance with this guy. You, you actually don't really care for a chance with this guy. 
Honestly, at this point, I'm like, why do I even bother cheating? Because they're probably not a good match, and now we may not actually learn his guilty pleasure. It looks like we will. It just needs to make it one... We did it. Okay, one more. Fantastic. That's brilliant. We're literally on the same wavelength, and uh, we like body glitter. Okay, he actually... This is an interesting one. Oh my god, it's the X. What are we gonna do? I think he was spicy. Yeah, he's spicy, so it's the X. Honestly, this seems like not a bad setup. I'm not sure how good the other one would be. Oh shoot, what have we talked about? We talked about this, this, and spiciness, I believe. So when you're with a new group of people, do you try to keep a low profile, try to get to know everyone? Definitely try to keep a low profile. I honestly think I might go for this, and uh, maybe it would have been better to go out with the other guy first just to see, but this guy seems like a great match as well. So 395-288-6794. I think I accidentally clicked on the zero because my hand slipped. Okay. 395-288-6794. Now, if that would actually go through, there we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just hit the right click, which, of course, for some reason in this game also works as left click, because, you know, that makes sense. But, uh, it's bedtime, so we're gonna get out of here. I quite fancy them. I do. I do, too. You wanna get more serious? Uh, hashtag, yeah! Uh, at least we're going to get, uh, some setups in this episode. <laughs> Okay, once again, we're strapped with having to do a VIP, so here's Harrison Bardown. Uh, he's a celebrity antiquarian and a cancer born on the 25th of June. Do I know someone born that? I don't know why. That just seems like it's striking a chord, but I don't think I know anyone born June 25th, which of course means they're somehow going to see this video in the far future and be like, how do you not remember? And I'll be like, oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, his interests include microbreweries, designer labels, and interior design, and he loves green eyes and black hair. He's relaxed, carefree, expert, traditional, and romantic. His bad habit is not paying attention, and his guilty pleasure is filing systems. Okay. An arty type with some chic tendencies. And there is one girl we don't know anything about, but they have zero attraction. And then there's Gladys Newforth. They don't line up horoscopically, but she's a three-star pro swimmer. They have three ticks of attraction, and right now they're three for three. Honestly, if I get four out of five even, I'm just going to do an immediate setup of these two. His choices are bad, because our black book only has gay guys. Now I have to wonder, does having an unnatural hair color, or at least not their natural hair color, like, affect your setup? Like, do you lose points if you have to change their hair, or is the salon just like a, we're giving this to you, you're welcome, just so you get more compliments and more things to talk about. Man, black mohawk here. That's so great. And what would we like? Something hot with no meat. Okay, so now we want the tong mian if we can find it. Uh, we will not be able to. Okay, so, okay, here we go. My girlfriend told me that I'm an idiot. Roasted aubergine is not grapefruit. I got it wrong. It's eggplant. Uh, whatever. My bad. I'm so bad. I th like, I was thinking eggplant, but for some reason it just came out because I was like, you know, that, like, weird darkish purple thing. And then in my mind, I was like, grapefruit. Obviously, grapes are purple, even though I'm pretty sure grapefruit's, like, orange. But don't quote me on that because obviously I'm a very unquotable person when it comes to spouting out random facts that I know nothing about. Two platters of mocker young, if you'd be so kind. Yeah, it's very superior. They're gonna love it. Man, I'm so good at life sometimes. <laughs> Let's see, so what do we want to talk about? Tradition and activity. When listening to music, do you prefer a band with real instruments or futuristic synthesized music? Oh good, a band with real instruments. I think that's going to do it. I think I'm just going to uh, talk about things and set them up. Or talk about things I know that will work and set them up. Like, I don't want to have any conflicts. So, uh, when in a quandary, would you rather trust your own instincts or ask other people's opinions? Oh, definitely other people's opinions. It's great to be sociable. She was at a football match the other night, and, uh, so we need to find her. So we've got, like, a gray... She has, like, oh my god, she has a double jacket. She has, like, a jacket over her tracksuit. That's actually incredible. She must be dying in this restaurant. And then she has a black bandana. Okay, let's see what we can find. 
Uh, black bandana, anywhere, somewhere, up top, down low. Oh gosh, I'm not finding it. I'm not finding, oh, there she is, found her, yes! Oh my gosh, I was so scared. Ah, there you are, how very exciting. Isn't it just so good? She was at a football match, I think she said. So she like sporty? She might be sporty, eh, whatever. Uh, if you're going out for the evening, would you rather go to a poetry reading or to a burlesque show? And of course, poetry reading is the obvious choice right here. Burlesque? More like, no, lesk. That was terrible. Why did I say that? Uh, we're going to give them 12%, so 306 is 10. Divide that by 5. And we will get, or let's do, let's do, so 6, 12, and then move that over. You get 61, so it should be 306 plus 61 which would be about 368. I believe this is correct. Well done, aren't you clever? We should in fact call it a night, but we're not gonna call it an end to the relationship. Uh-uh, yeah, they're our rather attractive, aren't they? Will you be my one and only? Yes! How romantically fortuitous for these two. We're almost to level 20, which means this might all actually be another Kitty Powers episode. I mean, it always is, but I mean where we set up Kitty Powers. You know, that last VIP worked out quite well. I'm going to try again. It's not even required, but might as well. Georgie Titchhouse, the alternative music star and a Capricorn looking for a man. She's interested in uniforms, playing electric guitar, and hubbly bubblies, which is hookah, as I learned, not champagne. She loves brown eyes and purple hair. She's relaxed, methodical, expert, experimental, and spicy. Her bad habit is being a potty mouth, and her guilty pleasure is app development. What do we have for this edgy girl? Not, not much. Yikes, this is not what I really wanted. Jamie Vandertine, Jeremy, excuse me, Jeremy Vandertine is the best match we have for her. Three-star project manager, they line up horoscopically, they'll have two ticks of attraction. They don't like any of the same things, but, you know, we gotta hope because this is what we're dealing with. Lloyd Diephauser, you know, no attraction, not lining up personality-wise, one out of five. Maximum three out of five, maximum three out of five, so come on, Jeremy. All right, let's hope things work out quite well. She now has bright red hair instead of her dusty pink stuff. Dusty pink is still the hardest color to find. And uh, yeah, we are totally right on time. In this date, seriously, if they get three out of five, I'm setting them up. Her options are terrible. Phone, shush. You're right next to my microphone. That's probably a bad place for you, so chill there. Okay, what do we fancy then? Something hot with no meat and nothing spicy. Okay, spinach and potato to lots of Zagaloo, please. Of course it's amazing. It's spinach potato, it's what's not to love. I guess we're gonna talk about organization to start when watching TV. Do you watch specific programs only or channel hop for hours? Okay, there's one, there's one. Definitely only specific programs. By the way, we have short black hair with a bushy mustache. That's that's pretty important to remember, I suppose, just in case that game comes up. We can't do organization. I guess we'll do activity. <laughs> You're about to miss your train. Do you run for it or wait half an hour for the next one? Okay, wait half an hour for the next one. I do like just chilling out. Okay, a wardrobe malfunction. So we have like a black letterman jacket thing over a brownish shirt. He's got the full circular beard mustache combo, black glasses, and uh, short cropped hair. Let's see what he's going to come back with. He's going to come back with an earring, of course. <laughs> Did you miss me? Lol. Mm, eh, I mean, you were only gone for like literally two seconds, so no? <laughs> I'm gonna go with no. Sorry to disappoint. I'm the worst. You was fit before, now you're even fitter. He is a bit of a fashionista. We are going to shoot our VIP because then great things may happen even if they only get two out of five. And honestly, I just kind of want to get... I just, I wish I could get my black book. I wish the black book would stay roughly equalized for all genders and sexualities, but I didn't make the game. I would totally add that if I could. <sighs> I even looked for a way to like decompile the code or edit some things. There's nothing in the Steam library. There's, or in the Steam like folder on my computer. It's a shame. They really want, I, they, I really wish they had like workshop capability. When buying books, would you rather look around a secondhand shop or download ebooks on a tablet? Oh, of course this had to happen. We're going to try our very, very best to lie and hope that it all works out. 
and it actually might don't flip over one more it's gonna flip over one more but but no 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 ah. but it would be really great if um things still worked out between them this one might actually happen okay now flip one more please and it's going to come on come on come on come on, come on. yes good stuff because now we can still set them up it's still a perfect date for him and she got the extra boost so it's still hearts wise perfect and oh my gosh again are you kidding me uh, it had a hint of magical otherworldliness. It had an interwoven layered moistness. It had an underbelly like a pastoral masterpiece. It was mind-bogglingly satisfying. It had a magnificent overtone of regal triumphalism. It had a fantastically smooth texture. It had an unbelievably sublime aftertaste. Okay, we still did it. I almost messed it up. I was uh, really afraid that I would, but honestly, just get get out of here just you, you two be happy because there's no one really better for you honestly i mean there might be but <sighs> okay well i'm still going to try and do another good vip setup and this should be fine because he's a gay man we have infinite gay men michael Knoxstein, he's a philanthropist and a gemini looking for a man uh, he's into immaculate tailoring watching horse racing and personal hygiene uh, he has a preference for hazel eyes and ginger hair, he's relaxed, methodical, introvert, experimental, and spicy. His bad habit is being sarcastic, and his guilty pleasure is massive false eyelashes. Oh my gosh, I can't stand the things, but okay, classic chic type, am I right? And I'm going to end this episode by setting up Kitty Powers, because I'm just going to set this- set Michael up with Waylon Wicker Ward. I really don't see any reason not to. They are meh horoscopically. I believe they still get with like the smaller hearts for that, but I haven't really tried, so I'm not really sure. Like, if it doesn't line up, why talk about it at all? Um, he's a three star architect, which is pretty nice. They'll have two ticks of attraction, but he's also chic. I believe movie premieres and penthouse suites are chic and performance art, you know, arty, but cool. Four out of five on the personality, which is still really good. And then I don't know about daydreaming and being sarcastic, but massive false eyelashes and micro mini skirts both strike me as glam. So I think those will line up quite well. Although I, I do have to wonder, I'm not sure if it's the guilty pleasures that need to line up. Well, I mean, I'm not sure if that helps or if you want each of them to, in this case, have a chic which is impossible but let's say he was geeky and he was chic do you want him to have a chic guilty pleasure or would like if he had a glam guilty pleasure i just realized i pointed at my screen you guys can't see that but if one of them had a, a, a geeky guilty pleasure or something would a geeky guilty pleasure line up with that even if you're setting up two chic types i'm not really sure i'm tired i'm rambling i'm sorry <laughs> Oh man, so we just need to make sure we don't get the uh, pachinko minigame because it seems like you really need at least two ticks of attraction to set a VIP up guaranteed. Because like, I remember like when I set, tried to set, I believe it was Kitty Powers actually herself up and they only had like one tick of attraction and she didn't want to go out with him on the first date and I actually had to go to the third date because I just don't think there was enough attraction. I think the two ticks is actually really important. But so we have a spiky mullet man here and uh, what do we want? Something cold with red meat. Okay, and nothing fried. So that's, that's rice, deep fried bread and pork sounds so good right now, but pork, vegetable, and tofu salad served cold. Two rations of rei shabu, please. Very delicious, of course. Contacts, please stop hurting. I'm trying to have a good time and you are making me feel attacked right now. On a trip to the movies, would you rather see a romantic comedy or a steamy love affair? Of course, a steamy love affair. Yes, of course, it's the, the real only thing you can see in movies. Hollywood's not going to make any more rom-coms. They're not even that popular. <laughs> All right, social then? We just can't talk about blue. When at a party, do you sit at the corner looking at your phone or mingle with everybody? Sit in the corner looking at your phone, of course. By the way, this guy has the same personality as um, the last gay guy we set up. <laughs> um, once I got to sit in the cockpit of a jumbo jet, Somehow a car still hit me up there. Uh, this one time at band camp, I was hit by a plane. Oh! Oh! 
Oh no. It said Jumbo Jet, so I assumed it was the plane. I'm just gonna try this. Oh no, 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 no. I accidentally executed a loop, the loop maneuver, and everyone vomited. Oh, how pathetic. Yeah. Oh no, 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 no. That's awful. Why would the hiking one tell you about a jumbo jet? That's infuriating to me. As far as games go, would you rather play a board game or play video games? Kitty Powers, if you're going to show up right now, please fly by right now. Please. Okay, well, it's not gonna happen, so they're gonna take a quick selfie. I hope that things work out for these two. I would, I'm gonna, oh, I probably should have gotten that one. My uh, reactions are not what they should be, <laughs> probably. Is that just a nice photo? Yeah, it's just a nice photo. Fantastic would have been nice, but I don't really think it matters. It doesn't seem like we get better hearts. Okay, please, please, please still like him. Because I don't know what's going to... What? Okay, I can understand you, like, not wanting to go out with them. You'd want to see them again. What was so wrong that they're unsatisfactory as a date? D did I go on a different date? It seemed like it was going pretty well. I just messed up. Did I mess up the other minigame? What, what even minigames were there? There was the selfie. The story, I messed that one up, and that's it. What happened? I'm going to show Michael the error of his ways by setting him up with Arthur Harfax. Not that that's a bad thing, but I'm not going to do any more searching for him. He has wronged me, and he turned down his perfect match. In, like, cold blood. Like, what was up with that? But whatever. Arthur Harfax, we just saw him. Gemini, they line up. One tick of attraction. Oh, that's gonna be iffy. But four out of five, and we don't know. But, oh my gosh, I'm so infuriated right now. I wish I could show it, but it's quiet hours. I hate VIPs so much. They are so nitpicky. Oh, this is just awful. Hey, are you Arthur? Yeah, Michael. Okay, good. Uh, we get some nice compliments there, and we have, uh, we have, um... Some, we have light brown makeup lady with long hair. A hot red meat dish is what we want. Okay, well let's make sure I get that mince. I think mince is red meat. Grilled pork skewers sounds better though, so let's get two rations of Sovlakia, please. It sounds deliciously edible, of course it does. Oh, nice coin right there, give me that. Spin it. Okay, what are we going to talk about? Um, we can just not talk about blue, so let's start from the closest to the bottom we have. When you visit a gallery, do you prefer pretty watercolor landscapes or challenging avant-garde art? Of course the challenging avant-garde art. Otherwise, how will like art ever develop? You don't want to see the same style of paintings all in all. Actually, that's kind of a lie. I can always go for like, like, um, like Victorian era, like portraits. Those should just always exist forever. On trips to the movies, rom-com or steamy love affair? Steamy love affair? Of course, definitely steamy love affair. What went so wrong on that date? We're gonna get something from the dessert trolley. He's lazy. Or relaxed, excuse me. I'm always gonna make that mistake. So we got banana at two, banana vanilla, nick. Banana vanilla knicker, two, three, four. Okay, let's just do that. Banana vanilla knicker. Banana vanilla knicker. But vanilla. Okay, so vanilla ice cream. We're gonna grab that. We'll require one ration of vanilla. Yep. Not experienced anticipation salvation like this. Salivation, not salvation. That's so good. Anticipation salvation. That could be that could be a name of uh Um Some kind of band. I I got sidetracked and uh <laughs> was thinking about something else that happened, so so Super Fight, if you haven't played it, um, it's this game where you draw like a noun or pronoun, or proper noun is what I meant, and um, then two attributes that are kind of like superpowers, and you see, and you just argue over who you think would win in a fight, and it's super fun, and one of the cards that was drawn was like, um, a monkey, it was just a chimpanzee that has rocket skates and can clone itself, but each time it clones, it gets 
half of the uh, intelligence, and so we had a great fun arguing over how actually super powerful this is, until you just have a bunch of like useless monkeys lying around only capable of breathing. But it was it was really good. But that just spawned the 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 metal ska band name that I or that my friend came up with. I gave it the genre though. It sounded like a metal ska name of too many monkeys. That's just my random anecdote of the day. I like I, I liked the band name Too Many Monkeys. I know I'm going to regret this because it's just going to make the episode drag on, but I'm going to try and set him up with Oscar Weinberg, um, who is a two-star school teacher and a cancer, so they're meh there. But it's because they have three ticks of attraction, so if by some miracle I can get three personality traits to line up, that will just be a guaranteed setup, whereas Arthur is no longer in that category because we don't know about his guilty pleasure, his bad habit, even if we did, we only have like two things we can really talk about, and I'm just like... Eh, we'll try this once and see what happens. Alright, Peking Toms, my favorite. Excitement levels are increasing. Alright, Oscar and Michael. Oscar Michael Wieners, I believe. No, it's Oscar Meyer. Darn it, I tried so hard and I just got it wrong. Um, so we have a black hair swoodily do person, and uh, we would like something hot with no meat and nothing weird. Um, yes, let's just get that. Two rations of guoti, please. Of course it's delicious. I know how these things work. Ooh, gosh golly, we can shoot our VIP and that may just help, although we still don't have any guarantee that, uh, any of their traits line up, and now I'm like, uh, if when Kitty Powers shows up is seated, maybe I should have been on a date with Arthur, but when surfing the internet, do you make specific searches only or browse casually? Here we go. It's gonna be one of those dates, I'm pretty sure. Please stop on the plus 15, that would make me, like, actually a little happy to have you as a client. Come on! Oh, whew, that was super close. Definitely browse casually for hours. So he's still, you know, par for the course at this point because of the kitty powers, and with the three ticks of attraction, that's still pretty good. We just gotta hope that these last two line up. Someone sends you a saucy photo, do you block their number, send them one in return? Well, everything's, everything's messed up, but if I can set them up, I still totally will, just because that will be hilarious. I'm a mean matchmaker, apparently. Please stop, please stop, don't flip over, it's not gonna flip over, we're good, we're good. Yep, 15 more coins, definitely block their number. 20 more coins, man, I'm making so much bank on this. Okay, well now we, we're gonna fart, because, you know, that's just a thing that happens all the time. It actually is, I don't really know why I said that sarcastically, but I'm just going to try and play and hope for the best. Either way, we will learn something. Actually, if we only if we fail will we learn something about his actual traits. So, uh, yeah, we're, but we're barely able to ex contain our excitement. Alright, that's fine, that's fine. Now, once more... What do we talk about? Uh, I guess we'll do social. So given a choice of car, would you prefer a discreet family saloon or a flashy supercar? Oh my gosh, they discreet family saloon. If I can set them up, I'm gonna laugh maniacally as I do it, but not too loud because that would be bad. So you don't like coconut charm and you like honeycomb joy. How about this one? That's light implosion, that's fine. That's all good. How about this one? That's, uh, that's Biscuit Rapture. We've already won. How about this one? We got three neutral ones. That's actually incredible. I'm really happy. Such a great selection. We have such good taste. And, uh, it's getting late, so we should, we should pop on out of here. Grab that cat for some extra money. Oh my gosh, I'm actually gonna do it, so let's go. <laughs> yes, get together, my terrible people. So we are in fact ready to help match up Kitty Powers one more time, but I'm not going to do that until the next episode. I'm tired and we're already at 47 minutes, which is a healthy length of episode, but gosh do I miss being loud. Oh, we don't have any guaranteed good news, but, but we have some good news. Blake and me are still seeing each other and we've shacked up together, and we both bloomin' love body glitter, eh? And I love him so much I don't care about his unhealthy interest in reading sports results. I did tell one or two porgy pies, but it was definitely worth it. We're flippin' well in love, we're like soulmates and everything. I'm so proud for you guys. Good job, good job. And how about Harrison? No. Oh. Had to end the relationship with Gladys, as we weren't compatible as I first thought. I suppose there were a few things I liked about her, mainly her interest in the opera, but I'm afraid her unfathomable penchant for going sailing was just too much to bear. They weren't really my cup of tea, but at least it was honest about it. I'm feeling a little below par, but all, 
live. All right. Well, that's not exactly the ending I would have really liked, but all things told, minus three isn't terrible. We'll survive. We'll make it up super easily because Kitty Powers will be a quick setup and then we'll be done with her for 20 more levels. I'm supposed to remind you to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Until next time on Kitty Powers Matchmaker, our quest for all the achievements, goodbye.